Hi everyone, we've been replacing the core plug on the 1098 block, uh, sometimes known as a freeze plug or a Welch plug. Anyway, the one that was in this middle slot is kind of unusual. I'd never seen one like this before. Kind of like a three part thing an outer piece with this acorn nut on top of it, and then this inner piece, which consists of I guess a plate with a welded bolt on it, or pressed into it, and the concept would be that uh, I guess as this was tightened down it would force the edge of the plug against the walls of the block. Now the problem was it was fouling the dipstick, this is the dipstick tube here, the engine's on its side at the moment obviously, so I decided to replace it. Um, we cleaned out the hole, so we're now ready to install the new core plug. You can use a little bit of red sealant around the side. Now some people say you don't need sealant when you're replacing a core plug. Others do. It's difficult to know which way to turn sometimes. But I'm going to use just a little bit of red thread locker sealant around the edge as we put the core plug in. Now this is not the way to make a YouTube video because I forgot to film myself knocking in the new core plug, but uh, you can see the core plug there. You see it has an indentation in it where I hammered it in. So you can see that's what the, uh, the core plug looks like. Convex. Uh, you place it in the block, convex face out, and just uh, knock it in there. And you can see it creates the indentation. still see some minor pitting items there. We'll put a little bit more on. actually get this on. Do you want to get the screwdriver in there? There we are, and I think that's almost it. There we are, okay. So, eight seals doing absolutely nothing one imagines. Okay, so we've put the first spring on, but the seal is not in the right place, so we're probably going to have to take that one off. Uh, all the other seals are on. Now it's a question to get the springs on. Okay. Need to come back a bit and get it under the. Uh, see if we can get those in. Get the other one. Would it? Yeah. Who's going to do the. Okay, get a pair of pliers and hold them together. All right. You guys have what you're going to use? Mm hmm. Okay. Does that look okay? Yeah. There you go. I think that's alright. Make sure that's... Yep, and here goes the spring, double spring. Now the problem we're having, and the reason it's a two-man job right now, is that this uh, spring compressor dates from the 1950s. It's designed for big old V8 American engines. Not, uh, can I say, diminutive uh, English 
A series engines. All right. Okay. Now it's fine. I think. There we go. That's it. There we have. All the springs are in. Just need to put the clips on top of the valve stems. So we're just putting these little clips on top. Very simple to put on, and we're putting them in a line with the uh, split in the in the cotter there, the pair of cotters. So one of the things about these new water pumps is very often the holes here where the dowels go uh, are not sufficiently deep. So what we did in our case is took a little bit of metal off each of the dowels to make it fit flush. So um, just something to bear in mind, if a water pump doesn't feel as if it's going on correctly, it may be because you need to relieve those holes. So we've done that, we've got a nice, nice tight fit on the surface, so should be good to go with the gasket. Yeah, I hope. We hope. 17? Yeah. Just going to give them a, like a finger like, that's about 17. Up to 70. Can you, can you read the 70 on there too? Yes, but we've got a long way to go yet. That's 60. Wow. That's about it. Yep, I think that'll do it. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay, head gasket goes on, copper side up. We're not putting any sealant or permatex or anything like that on. Um, that should be just fine. There we go. And now the head. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can get it lined up. Hold it. Uh, no. Yeah? Yep. Got it. Let's get this thing in here. It's quite satisfying putting these in. Just in case the concourse police turn up. <laughs> wow, isn't that the judges, nice? We expect the judges. You judges. could actually uh, eat your dinner off that. So basically, what we have is the engine with the head on, water pump is on, thermostat housing is on, push rods are in, obviously. 